Hello guys, Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamster, is back again for another Hypixel Skyblock video. So today's video is about calculating the average amount of coins you will make per hour with Slayers based on mathematical proof. Now before we officially begin, let me just say you guys destroyed the previous video where one like equals one slayer boss. Sadly, I'm here to make a public announcement that I can only do 1000 tier 3s at a maximum. Why? Because I am using a MacBook Air and I only have 128 gigabytes of storage and I can only record footage of 1000 tier 3s before my computer literally runs out of space. Sorry if I disappointed you guys, but I didn't expect so many of you guys out there to be sadists who wanted to see me die, <laughs> literally, and lose my sanity over a thousand Slayer bosses. I will post that video somewhere in this week, probably during Sunday. And on a side note, if you haven't checked it out, be sure to go and check it out, link in the description. It was a very popular video and it's one of my best videos according to my viewers. So yeah, okay, so today's video as mentioned earlier is about calculating the average coins you will make with Slayers with mathematical proof. So I've actually consulted it with my math tutor before making this video and actually I did some calculations with him and I've realized a few things and I've learned a few things about probability. Firstly, let me say that a 20% drop rate doesn't mean that every 10 bosses you will get 2 drops. However, that doesn't mean probability or the percentage drop chance is entirely unreliable and fake. Now back to the topic at hand. I've been on the forums back then and I realized people have been saying that 20% doesn't exactly mean 2 drops every 10 bosses. And that is true to a certain extent. However, the 20% holds true if you are doing thousands and thousands of bosses. Think of probability being extreme the first time you do a boss where the probability doesn't match up. However, as you do more and more bosses, the amount of drops you will get will closely mirror the amount of drops you get based on the percentage. Certainly, there are a few outliers such as T. Creopath or how do you pronounce his name, I probably butchered it, where he went for 3 million seven XP without a single overflux capacitor. But he casually got more than 30 grizzly baits if I'm not wrong, 3 zero, 30 grizzly baits, zero overflux, okay? And he quit after doing thousands and thousands of tier 4 events. But that's the beauty or the curse of probability as you may mention. It can be absolutely random. But in theory, as you do more and more bosses, the amount of drops you get should be mirrored to that of what you get in theory. But the critical mass of runs you need to do in order for your runs to mirror the probability of what is stated is a critical mass which cannot be defined because it is it is only defined as a large amount of runs. It can be 10,000, it can be 20,000, it can be 100,000, it can even be 1 million runs. And because of that, probability is very abstract and quite hard to understand or to even calculate in the first place. So yeah, the short answer to this question in theory is simply this. I'm calculating the money made from tier 3 Tara since it's the best layer for coins in my opinion. You should earn 1.446 million per hour if you do tier 3 Tarantula enough. And here's the math I did over 1000 runs. With Black Cat superior and max pet score of plus 129% magic find when fighting tier 3s, you have a 1.03% chance of getting a fly slaughter a 0.347% chance of getting a Tarantula Talisman, a 2.29% chance of getting a Bane 6 or a Spider Catalyst. So now across 1000 bosses you will get around 10 Swatters, 3 Tarantula Talismans, 23 Bane 6 and 23 Spider Catalyst along with 200 Toxic Arrow Poison Drops. So this will be the sales that you will make assuming each Swatter sells for 500k just sell to the NPC, it sells for 5 mil. And next up, for 3 Tarantula Talismans, that will sell for around 18 million since the average cost of a Tarantula Talisman is 6 mil. And I'm valuing Bane 6 books at 5,000 coins each because I put them out on the auction and they tend to end up selling between 5k to 15k coins, not too much. In total, I will be earning around 115,000 coins from selling Bane 6 books. I value Spider Catalyst at 30,000 coins each. Um, that will make me around 690,000 coins and I will also have 200 Toxic Arrow Poison Drops which will give me 11.2 million coins. And last but not least, all of the Tarantula web I get will sell for 3.6 million coins on average 
giving me 28.605 million coins in sales over 10,000 Slayer bosses. And the total profits will be 28.605 million. And since it takes me around 19.5 hours to kill all of the 1,000 Slayer bosses on average, assuming I do one boss per minute, I would have a total profit of 1.466 million coins per hour. This is pretty much as accurate as it can get. It is as simple as it gets and is going to be your reality if you do enough Slayer bosses like me. 4,000 tier 3 Slayer kills boys. And guess what, another 1,000 to brutally kill because you guys are savages and liked the previous video a thousand times. However, before you leave, you will obviously realize that there's still much more time left in this video. However, I know you guys might be asking right in your head now or going down to your comment section and flaming me or doing something like that. You guys might be saying that, why didn't I look at this other formula other players have used, which I do know exists, which is 1 minus bracket probability of getting the item to the power of x. And that will give you the probability of getting the item where x equals to the amount of runs you have done. You might be asking, isn't this more accurate and true? Well, this formula isn't wrong and it's been used by multiple RNG calculators online and by your other Skyblock forum players whatsoever. However, this formula is highly inaccurate in predicting the amount of drops you will get when you start doing thousands and thousands of runs. Think about it this way, by using Black Cat Superior and Max Pet Score, Tarantula Talisman has a 0.347% drop chance for dropping, and by using the formula, you need around 622 runs to get a 90% chance of the drop. So just do the math, I put it up on screen. Now, if that's the case, do you think that mathematically speaking, you should have a 90% chance to get two Tarantula Talismans if you do 1,244 runs? I'll ask you that question. Respond down in the comment section. Do you think that you will have a 90% chance to get two Tarantula Talismans if you do 1,244 runs? Makes sense to you, right? 90%. Since I have 90% to get one Tarantula Talisman after 622 runs, doesn't it make sense for me to get a 90% chance to get two Tarantula Talismans if I do two times of the amount of runs, which is 1244? No, that is actually not the case in reality and that is false. It is not 90%. And I will explain why this formula is flawed based on that example when you test it against a large amount of runs. Why? Because here is your standard probability tree diagram. First, you have a 0.9 probability of getting a tarantula talisman in the first 622 runs you did, right? Correct. However, notice that the path branches out once again and you have another probability of 0.9 to get another Tarantula Talisman after another 622 runs, right? So that's true. You still have a 90% chance to get a second Tarantula Talisman. However, note that if you want to get two Tarantula Talismans back to back from two sets of 622 runs, the probability of that is 0.9 times 0 0.9 or 0 0.9 square which, which is the equivalent of 0 0.81 meaning that even though in an isolated vacuum 622 runs should in theory get you a 90% chance to get a tarantula talisman the probability that a 1244 tier 3 run gets you two tarantula talismans is actually only 81% the formula isn't wrong or false it is useful in giving you the isolated probability when you should or should not be getting RNG drops. However, if let's say I had to calculate a likely amount of Tarantula Talismans you would get from 1,000 runs or even 10,000 runs, I can't just do 10,000 divided by 6 to 2, which rounds off to around 16 Talismans. You can't just assume that you have a 90% chance to get 16 Tarantula Talismans over 10,000 runs, because that is false. In reality, if you are expecting to get one Tarantula Talisman every 622 runs for 16 times straight in those 10,000 runs with a 90% chance, 
that is far from the truth. You will not have a 90% chance to get 16 tarantula talismans over 10,000 runs. In fact, the real probability of that is 0.9 to the power of 16, which is 0.185 or 18.5%. That's why the probability is flawed when you are trying to find the average amount of drops you will get over thousands and thousands of runs because that 90% probability you think you see will not apply if done more than once. This is due to the nature of probability. Now looking at the drop rates of tarantula talismans at 0.347% which when converted to probability upon 1 it will be 0.00347 and upon 10,000 runs you will average around 34.7 tarantula talismans. Just 10,000 divided by 0.00347. As you can see, in reality, this is the true average. 16 tarantula talismans is actually on the lower end of the scale of what you should be expecting to get. In reality, you are more likely to end up with 35 tarantula talismans or 34.7 tarantula talismans after doing 10,000 runs. The formula isn't exactly problematic or bad or flawed or wrong. The formula mentioned above is only useful when you want to find out the probability of you getting a certain drop after an X amount of runs. For example, it is certainly true mathematically that you have a 90% chance of getting one tarantula talisman after 622 runs, but you do not have a 90% chance of getting two tarantula talismans after 1244 runs. That formula is inaccurate in telling you the amount of multiple drops you will get after hundreds and thousands of runs because it will always change. However, the basic formula of simply the number of runs you did times the percentage chance of getting the item will always be the most accurate in finding out the true average of how many drops you get and it will only get more accurate the more you do. You only want to use the above formula mentioned which a lot of forum users use as well as a lot of RNG calculators use. You only want to use that if you are trying to look at an isolated setting of the amount of runs you need to have the chance to get one item. You don't use that formula to find the amount of items or the amount of multiple items you can get over a certain amount of run. You only use that when you want to find out in an isolated vacuum amount of runs what is the probability that you will get it. It isn't effective in counting the average of drops you will have over a huge amount of runs because the probability will change. You can't just plop in the numbers and pray it works out. That's not going to happen. Probability is something rather abstract that will only become closer after many many runs. Heck, in fact, even the 1000 runs I'm doing for the next video isn't good enough. However, have faith that from a mathematical point of view, if you are willing to do slayers for thousands and thousands of times, you will average around 1.44 mil per hour. On a side note, you are likely to earn more than 1.44 mil per hour on average because I did not calculate the probability of getting a scroll, which sells for 200,000 coins each, or a spider talisman which can be made into a spider ring that sells of 100k to 300k. Yeah, don't be surprised, people pay much more for spider rings than for spider talismans, I don't know why. Tarantula webs are actually really cheap. Also, I did not factor in the probability of getting a tarantula pet or even a phoenix pet, which is also worth a couple million. In reality, if you are able to do slayers for hundreds and hundreds of hours and kill hundreds of hundreds of bosses and mobs, you will probably be getting on average 1.6 million coins per hour if you are willing to do it enough. That is what you will end up with on average, or around 3 eyes per hour for zealot grinding. I mean, the equivalent of 3 eyes per hour, which is surprisingly good. And I made a mistake by saying that Slayers is completely dead. In fact, tier 3 Tarantula and tier 4 Savant are still okay for money, just that they were not as good as before. However, bear in mind that today's calculations were done with Black Cat and Max Magic Fine of 129%. So yeah, take note of that. If you don't have that set up, you might be earning around 1.3 mil per hour or 1.4 mil per hour on average. And yeah, as a whole, I was surprised that the answer to this question after much thought and questioning is the simple and short elegant solution of the number of runs times the probability of getting the items. That is the final answer. Literally, it is that simple to find the amount of drops you will get on average. There is no need to jump through all of these hoops 
and trying to find out the probability of getting one and multiplying it across 10,000 runs because that is more inaccurate than accurate. So yeah, I've learned quite a bit by making this video. If you guys think I did something wrong in my calculations, feel free to point it out. I am I I do not declare myself as a math genius. And if you think you can do a better job or you can prove me wrong, I'm interested to know because I am myself not very sure of this calculation. It's just meant to be a fun video. Don't take it very seriously. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this experimental, theoretical, mathematical video on Slayers by applying it to Skyblock. So yeah, this is Furball the Hammy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Signing out. <laughs>